Twelve-year-old Anoush joins her classmates at school number 27. Anoush is one of 44 special needs children attending this inclusive school in Yerevan, Armenia's capital. Until recently, she would have attended an institution for the disabled only, but Armenia's government is reforming its treatment of special needs children, thanks to the influence of organisations such as UNICEF. Now, it is deemed all children should have access to a full education. There are 14 inclusive schools in Armenia, and another 18 are to be rolled out later this year. The principal says they are playing an important role in breaking down the stigma that some special needs children and their families face. She admits the school is still learning from some of its reforms. Mm -hmm. The inclusive education system in our school was started not very long ago, so we do not have too much experience and long-term results yet. And we also cannot say yet in how far the children with special needs from our school will succeed in applying for higher education courses later on. However, many problems have been solved due to the support from the parents and the teachers who have always been very helpful with this initiative. Inclusive education is tackling the barriers that society often places before special needs children. And now it's letting the children find their own educational level. The child's right basis for this reform is underpinned by the economic benefits. It costs twice as much to keep special needs children in the traditional schools for the disabled. For pupils like Anoush, an inclusive school provides the chance to develop self-confidence and the aspiration for a more fulfilled future. In Armenia, this hope has become a reality for some of its 10,000 special needs children. This is Mervyn Fletcher reporting for UNICEF Television. Unite for Children.